Why the Crawfish Lives in the Mud, written and illustrated by Jeanette Downing. Do you know what a crawfish is? Kind of looks like a small lobster. Long ago, in the waters of the bayou, the crab and the crawfish used to be best friends. That is, until one hot, muggy day when Crawfish was feeling more lazy than usual. Crawfish was getting hungry, but he would not budge an inch to find a meal for himself. Then Crawfish heard a loud commotion and saw a crab carrying a fish he had just caught in his claws. Suddenly, Crawfish had the envy, the craving for fish, which caused another loud racket in his hungry stomach. Crawfish rubbed his belly and thought for a moment, concocted a plan and said, sure is a hot one, eh, Crab? That it is, replied Crab, balancing the fish in one claw and wiping the sweat of hard work from his brow with the other. That fish sure looks good, said Crawfish. Yes, indeed it does, said Crab. Well, I declare, you are just too strong to carry such a small fish as that, said Crawfish. A small fish, asked Crab. Oh, yes, yeah, share replied Crawfish mockingly. As strong as you are, you probably can't even feel that small to tiny fish you got yourself there. Now one of those big fish down the bayou would give you a run for your money. Big fish? Bigger than this one? asked Crab. Oh yes, much bigger than that small to tiny itsy bitsy fish you got there. Buku, much bigger. Now that big fish down the bayou would be some fine eating for you. Yes, indeed, some fine eating, answered Crawfish. Crab looked up at his catch of the day and suddenly it didn't feel so heavy and it didn't look so big. Lazy Crawfish laid it on thick again and said, Of course, that small, to tiny, itsy bitsy, puny fish you got yourself there would be fine eating for a weak little crawfish like me. But you, so big and strong, you need something bigger, much bigger. But say, la vie, that's life. I guess I'll go get that big fish down the bayou and try to drag it home. I'll probably hurt my back in the trying. What do you guys think? Will he hurt his back? Crab put down his dinner and said, Oh no, I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself, dear friend Crawfish. Here, you take my little fish, and I'll go down the bayou and get that big fish. You would do that for me? asked Crawfish, hiding his devious grin. Sure I would, said Crab, as he handed his dinner to Crawfish and marched down the bayou. Crawfish laughed and laughed at the foolish Crab. Ha ha ha! I've outsmarted that silly Crab again, said Crawfish. He laughed so hard, he turned red all over. Oh. Then Crawfish ate until he could eat no more, rubbed his full tummy, and took a long nap in the hot southern sun. Click, click, click. Suddenly, Crawfish heard a sound. Click, click, click. The sound came again. 
but this time it was closer and louder. Crawfish woke from his nap to find angry crabs standing over him, clicking his mighty claws together. Uh-oh. Crab yelled, You lazy Ganae trickster! I walked up and down the bayou looking for that big fish and found none. Crawfish backed up a little because he could tell that Crab was some furious. Mmm, he doesn't look pleased. Crab said, You played another dirty trick and made a fool out of me for the last time. Crawfish backed up a little more. He had never seen Crab this angry before. Crab continued, And to think, I gave you my dinner because I felt sorry for you. Crawfish backed up a little more and trying to compose himself said, Ah, monsieur, I'm just quillon, you know, crazy. There's no need for you to be so crabby. Crab replied, Crabby? Why, I should throw you into the mud for pulling such a dirty trick on me. Oh, no, not the mud. I don't like the mud, said Crawfish. I'll get stuck in the mud and never get out. Anything, oh, anything but the mud. Whoa, what happened there? Now a frightened crawfish was backing away from Crab so fast and flicking his tail so frantically that he unknowingly dug a deep tunnel in the mud and fell into it with a plop. Ooh, what's that? Clots of mud encircled the tunnel's entrance and crawfish burrowed inside was hidden from sight. Crab couldn't believe his eyes. Well, I'll be. What goes around comes around, said Crab. I guess you've outsmarted yourself this time and got exactly what you deserved. Now the mud will be your home forever. You think crawfish is in there? And to this day, the crawfish, also known as the mud bug, lives in the mud to keep away from the angry crab. Some special words and phrases from our book. Buku means much. Kanii means sly or sneaky. Say la vie, that means that's life. Cher, dear or friend. Concocted means invented or created. Quillon, crazy or silly. Envy, a craving. Main, but. Laid it on thick. Exaggerated. Loud racket. A loud noise. Run for your money. A challenge. Titani, very small. What goes around comes around. What you do to others is done to you. I hope you like this book. There's some crawfish fun facts here. If you want to read through them, just pause the video. Thanks for listening. The end.